top six best cameras in 2024. Hello guys, today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the best cameras in market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review, and more. If you wanna see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. And like, comment, share this video, subscribe our channel, thank you. Number six, Sony A7 IV. Following Sony's fantastic A7i was never going to be easy, but the A7iV is a worthy successor. Equipped with a new 33MP sensor that's solid for both stills and video, it's a compelling mirrorless option for hybrid shooters. In our review, we called it a brilliant blend of photographic power and video versatility. A price hike does mean it's no longer an entry-level full-frame camera like its forebear, but a Bion's XR processor powers solid performance that broadly justifies the extra expenditure. The A7i V also benefits from Sony's class-leading autofocus skills, plus upgrades like 10-bit video support and a seemingly endless buffer depth with a stiff express card. Our tests found this buffer to be more generous than most photographers will need, with image quality leaning more towards resolution than little light performance. No hybrid camera comes without compromise. There is a heavy crop on 4K footage, and it isn't the simplest camera for beginners to use. The Canon EOS R6 also offers faster burst speeds for a similar price. But considering its powerful versatility and higher resolution, the Sony A7 IV deservedly takes our number one spot. Number five, Canon EOS R5. If you see the Canon EOS R5 as a pro stills model with some impressive video features, then it's one of the best cameras the photography giant has ever made. There's no doubt it has video limitations compared to a rival like the Sony A7 SIE, particularly for shooting longer clips. But after our review, we found it great for anyone looking to shoot mind-blowing stills in almost any situation, whether that's wildlife or studio work. It's a hugely impressive achievement. Particularly worthy of mention is the EOS R5's autofocus, which we found offers very accurate and reliable subject detection and tracking, particularly when it comes to people or animals. You also get a superb 5.76 million pixel EVF, a body design that will be comfortably familiar to those coming from DSLRs and the ability to shoot bursts at 12 with the mechanical shutter or 20 with the electronic equivalent. The video performance, while limited to relatively short bursts, remains superior to the likes of the Nikon Z7 and Sony A9T2. With a growing collection of LB pricey RF lenses, the Canon EOS R5 is the next-gen mirrorless camera that pro photographers have been waiting for. In short, if video is your priority, you should test out the Canon EOS R5 in situations that are as close as possible to your real-world workflow. You may still find it to be one of the best video cameras you can buy. Those looking to shoot long, extended takes might be better served by the Sony a 7 IEO. But if you look at the Canon EOS R5 as a stills camera that you'll occasionally use to shoot high-quality video, you'll likely never run into any overheating problems. Number four, Canon EOS R10. It isn't the cheapest camera for beginners, but we think the Canon EOS R10 is the now best option for those starting their photographic journey. Spiritual successor to Canon's popular mid-range DSLRs, the EOS R10 has two standout skills, impressive subject tracking autofocus and speedy 15th burst shooting, which was previously unheard of at this price. Both of those combine nicely to make the EOS R10 a versatile little camera for shooting all kinds of subjects, from portraits to speeding pets and kids, during our autofocus testing, which we conducted on cats, deer, and a speedy cockapoodle, the R10 found and tracked the subject's eyes very well, with the 15th burst speeds producing a decent hit rate. While it isn't a compact camera, the EOS R10 is very lightweight at 429 grams and has a deep grip that makes it feel well balanced in the hand with all kinds of lenses. Unfortunately, the EOS R10 doesn't yet have many native lenses, just two at the time of writing, and lacks in-body image stabilization. But if you're happy to buy some of the many full-frame RF lenses that work well with the camera or adapt old ones using an EF EOS R adapter, then it's a versatile little sidekick that's ideal for fledgling snappers. There's been a hole in the middle of Canon's mirrorless camera lineup for a few years now, but the Canon EOS R10 finally fills it. If you're a beginner looking to expand your photographic horizons or an existing Canon fan who wants a fun second camera for everyday shooting, it's now one of the best cameras around, and thanks to its small size and weight, it's also one of the best travel cameras. Number three, Fujifilm X-T5. If you're in the market for a hybrid all-rounder, you should look elsewhere. While the Fujifilm X-T5 can record lovely 6.2K footage, photography is its focus, and that's where it excels. 
deploying the same 40.2 MP APS-C sensor and X processor 5 as the Fujifilm X-H2. It delivers images of near identical quality. If you're upgrading from an older XT model, you'll also notice the benefits of in-body image stabilization, superior battery life, and Fujifilm's latest subject detection autofocus, even if the latter can compete with Sony and Canon's latest efforts. Form factor also sets the X-T5 apart. We found its reduced dimensions reminiscent of the X-T1, making it a small, lightweight tool that's perfect for everyday shooting. Its controls are also photog-friendly, with retro dials for ISO, shutter speed, and exposure, plus a three-way tilting touchscreen that works better than a very angle for framing stills. Yes, the APS-C sensor limits low-light performance, while the modest buffer isn't ideal for action snappers, but its marriage of performance and convenient form makes the X-T5 our favorite mirrorless camera for hobbyists. Number two, OM System OM-1. Not everyone needs a full-frame camera, and like the Fujifilm X-T4, the OM System OM-1 harnesses the benefits of its smaller sensor to create a compelling alternative for photographers who prioritize size, versatility, and a fun handheld experience. Thanks to its new stacked Micro Four Thirds sensor, which is the first of its kind, and a speedy TruePix X processor, the OM-1 performed admirably in most our tests. Quite simply, it's the one of the most enjoyable cameras you can buy. We found that the OM-1 performed well up to ISO 1600 and had slightly less aggressive noise reduction than its Olympus-made predecessors. Its computational modes are also the best you'll find outside a smartphone, with the likes of high-res shot, live ND, and in-camera focus stacking going some way to compensating for its smaller sensor. On the downside, its autofocus tracking isn't quite up to the level of Canon or Sony, and the controls can be a little fiddly. That 20 MP resolution also isn't huge for a camera of this price. But if you can overlook those drawbacks, then the OM-1 and its huge range of micro four-thirds lenses will make a fine companion. The OM system OM-1 has a recognizable face, but a less familiar name. That's because it's the flagship model in a new mirrorless camera series from OM Digital Solutions, which bought the Olympus Imaging Division in 2021. A natural successor to the Olympus OM-D EN1 Mark E, the OM-1 will be the last camera to have the Olympus name etched on its body. But if its performance is anything to go by, it will be the first of many OM system cameras to come. Its name may be a tribute to the original 50-year-old Olympus OM 135mm SLR, but the OM-1 is a very modern camera and a joy to shoot with. Everything that we've loved about the Olympus Micro Four Thirds system over the years is cranked up a notch here with tangible improvements in virtually every department, especially handling power, av speed, and accuracy, and computational modes. Number one, Canon EOS R6. While the Canon EOS R5, see below, it's overkill for most people. The EOS R6 is a more affordable full-frame alternative that is simply one of the best cameras for photography around. If you already own one of Canon's early mirrorless full-framers like the EOS R or any of its DSLRs, this is a more than worthy upgrade. Based on our review, the EOS R6 brings best-in-class autofocused a superb in-body image stabilization system and burst shooting powers that mark it out as a very fine camera for wildlife or sports photography. Despite its ability to shoot 4K slash 60 video, the EOS R6 lacks the option to record DCI 4K. In our tests, we also found it to have overheating limitations compared to video focus rivals like the Sony A7S IE, making it better suited to stills photographers. But for photography, it's an excellent, if pricey, option. It delivers hugely impressive autofocus, handling, and features which make it one of the best options around for anyone who needs a full-frame camera. Taking a Leaf or two out of the EOS 1DX Mark IE Plainbook, the EOS R6 inherits the same 20MP sensor resolution as the DSLR, but not quite the same sensor. The difference is in the architecture as an upgraded version of Canon's tried and tested dual pixel CNOS autofocusing system has been incorporated onto the sensor. This has markedly improved autofocus and tracking performance, with the EOS R6 now able to match and sometimes outperform Sony's real-time tracking autofocus. This is the top six best cameras in 2023. Please make sure to subscribe our channel for these kind of information. Thanks for watching.